Day of the life eating. Uh, it's been a while since I put up one of the eating videos, and I know the last one that I did, um, I believe I was still in the 3,000 calorie range somewhere. I'd have to look back to actually where I was, but we're now 21 weeks into the off season. Body weight this morning was 258 pounds. So getting close to what my, my peak weight has ever been, but the, I feel pretty good about the condition. Like I'll always check my caliper sites um, for three areas on the back of my body that are always the, the first to gain fat. So glute, lower back and upper back. And those are all around like 10, 11 and 10 millimeter respectively. And uh, blood glucose this morning was 87. So um, all, all those markers are still in a good, good place, visually in a good place. So we keep on going, but I'll take you through what I've been eating for the day. So it's been progressing up and uh, we'll go meal by meal. In a day, we'll add up, see where everything that tell you where I'm at. Currently uh, meal one, it's 950 calor 915 calories, 63 grams of protein, 111 grams of carbs and 26 grams of fat. And this is with uh, three whole eggs, 200 grams of egg whites, 100 grams of spinach, two Dave's bagels with some sugar-free peach uh, jam, two uh, whole wheat tortillas, and then also uh, 100 grams of peaches and 80 grams of blueberries. So some good variety here. Um, this meal is a little larger uh, as like the, the next meal will be in a little bit before I go to the gym. That'll be my pre-workout meal. And uh, we'll keep going meal by meal. On to meal number two of the day. This is my pre-workout meal. So I had this and I trained like an hour later, so I don't need a lot of time to digest my food before I, I get rolling. And for this amount of food at this point, like you're gonna have some food like overlapping and, and sitting because it's just food of food volume and just the density of the meals is pretty high. Uh, this meal, it's 921 calories, 64 grams of protein, 149 grams of carbs, seven grams of fat. So this is a, uh, 140 grams of pride cream of rice. I like pride because they don't have all the added iron in it. And if you actually look at, you know, your regular orange box cream of rice, the iron content, you would easily get into iron excess, especially if you're running androgens and you have higher uptake of iron. Then I also use their, uh, their nut butter, which is like a mix of almond and coconut. Uh, butter and put this it's uh, 10 grams I add in so just a little bit of fats and then I use one Dave's English muffin as more of like my cream of rice like dipping device <laughs> so also have 60 grams of whey protein added to the meal too uh, this is one of the larger larger meals of the day a larger carbohydrate just putting it around training but again like the overall carbohydrate amount is so large for the day it's just, it is relatively spread out, almost 100 grams of carbs um, per, per meal. So get this down, head to the gym, and then we'll get into my intro workout when I'm doing for that. Meal number three. So I, I did go to the gym back in the same location because I left my whey protein at home, so came back to eat the meal here. I've been in a bad habit of doing that, so <laughs> that's one thing to like remember to pack. Usually Renee and I are in this rush to get everything done and out the house. So it's one thing that got left behind. But anyway, for eating for the day, intra workout right now is 40 grams of carbs. I use Universal Carbo Plus, which it, it's primarily just maltodextrin. It digests just fine for me. It's just um, another way to easily drink some carbohydrates while I'm training that doesn't cause any GI distress. It's definitely not because I'm getting like glycogen depleted or something while I'm training, but I, I simply the the amount of carbohydrate needed across the day. I need other places to be able to put it in. So getting home uh, now for in, for the intro workout, it, uh, 40 grams of carbs and it's 151 calories. For this meal, so this is meal three of the day, post-workout, it is 939 calories, 58 grams of protein, 163 grams of carbs, and seven grams of fat. And so this is 380 grams of white rice cooked. I also have pride crisp bars, kind of like a Rice Krispie treat, but without all the sugar added. I like them just crumbled on top of this rice pudding concoction I make. So I use two of those. 
and then 60 grams of whey protein and just mix it all together. So um, this meal is for the amount of carbohydrate that's in it is pretty easily digested and I'll be ready really soon to eat like more solid based meals from there. Meal number four. And this is only about an hour 45 after my pre-workout meal. But like I said, like with that meal, it really digests quick, especially post-workout. And I, I like hunger is kicking in. So I'll go ahead and put this meal in a bit earlier in the day. The remaining meals for the day are back to like two and a half, three hours apart. So macros on this meal, 908 calories, 67 grams of protein, 125 grams of carbs, 17 grams of fat. So food choices here, uh, getting more solid foods in. So in my bowl, 160 grams of chicken breast and 240 grams of rice. I also have 150 grams of like a stir fried vegetable mix that I use. And then I also do um, G Hughes barbecue sauce and I have some brown mustard and you'll see some little green pieces on top. I just have some chopped jalapenos. So just trying to have some like good flavor and a good volume of food that's there. Other things. So it's like, why do you have three plain rice cakes? Those are my peanut butter delivery <laughs> methods, uh, basically. For what I just like rice cakes, but it's also kind of my dessert after the meal. So I can put a little bit of stevia on top, but I have 15 grams of peanut butter on these. So five grams a piece. So just another way to get some of my carbs in and have somewhat of a dessert there. And then I also have 140 grams of blueberries for a fruit source and just another just carbohydrate variety. Try to use some different variety and sources for foods in the off season just for the macro, micronutrient needs. So get this meal down, two more to go. On to meal five for the night. So I have uh, quite the variety going on here, but this meal totals up to 932 calories, 60 grams of protein, 131 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat. And my variety comes down to just stuff that I like because in the off season, I'm able to fit in other things that I don't normally eat. So try to take advantage of it. Of course, some of the macros on some of the foods, I have to use a few other sources to make them all work together. For instance, I have a, a mix of Alexia sweet potato fries and also they're just like a, it's a Walmart brand wedge fry. Uh, just wanted to do the, the mix together. Um, I like the wedge fries because proportionately they're lower in fat for the amount of carb you get. I think it's five grams of fat per 24 grams of carbohydrate. The same goes for the Alexia fries, the sweet potato ones specifically though. So try, trying to find like the, the lowest fat option in a, in a potato you can just throw in the air fryer could be challenging. You can make your own potatoes and throw them in there. These are just really con convenient. So um, with doing about 200 grams of these for that amount of fat content, I have to go with carbohydrate sources that have no other fat contents. Uh, so that's why I also have some rice. So in my bowl, I do 160 grams of rice, 110, um, sorry, 106, I do 160 grams of chicken. I do 110 grams of rice and then 100 grams of green beans. And for sauces, I like G Hughes, but the Polynesian sauce, and that one's one I can almost all, only find at Walmart. Also, I'm still on my brown mustard kick, so I put that in on top of it as well. Other carb sources. So try to have fruit in a lot of my meals. This one I do 140 grams of strawberry and uh, 80 grams of blueberry. Then I just for, I actually was doing my macros and I kind of messed up, honestly. I, I would have put just more rice in here, but I realized like I needed like 20 more grams of carbs in this meal. So I had uh, two caramel rice cakes just to have an addition. One thing I left out is on my fries. I, of course, I like ketchup. Um, I, if you, you might see in the video of them, there's like pepper on top, which I like peppered ketchup. Um, you think you can buy it like that. It's just not the no sugar added version. So um, have that for, for flavor. So yeah, this is my, my weird like food plethora that I'm going with for this meal. And we'll have one meal left. Meal six, last meal of the night. 
If you watch my last YouTube video of eating a day, it's the same meal that's been in place for a long time now. So this one is the smallest meal a day, 578 calories, 54 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, and 19 grams of fat. This is an oat cake. I don't know how many times people have asked me, like, how do you make that recipe? I'll, I'll give the quick spiel, but I've made lots of videos on this. So this one's 50 grams of oat powder, has some uh, baking powder in it, just eyeballing that. And chocolate whey, this is 25 grams of whey protein. And 30 grams of pumpkin, 30 grams of egg white, two packets of stevia, whisk it together and microwave it for three and a half minutes and you get an oat cake. And so topping the oat cake is the uh, Pr Pride Foods butter, which I mentioned that earlier, it's just their chocolate fla flavor and a little bit of peanut butter. Then just to get the rest of my protein in, you could add, I could add the rest of the protein, but I like having like a smoothie along with it. So this is 25 grams of whey, some unsweetened almond milk and just ice bl uh, blended together. So total macros for the day. And I just run a macro plan in the off season. So that's why uh, I'll use chronometer to log during the day. And I just made a food adjustment. So I was logging to see exactly where it was, it was gonna fall. Calories for the day are 5,343. For protein, 366 grams. Carbs, 765 grams. Fat, 96 grams. So went uh, just a slight bit over like the planned macros. It was supposed to be 350 protein, 750 grams of carbs. But in the off season, like the, the food amount is so much, um, if I'm making little macro adjustments, by the end of the day, I might be off 10, 15 grams. When you're eating 750 grams of carbs, that really doesn't matter up to, uh, to be much. Um, as far as all the macro counting for the day, I count all the macros, because I've been asked that before. So the protein that's in rice, the fats that are in chicken, like I count all that because once you get up to you know, 5,000, 6,000 calories per day and you're eating you know, 100 grams of carbs from rice, that's 10 grams of protein. So if, as you're adding in that food, it is accounted for because of the addition and what you're seeing or changes for the week. However, it can make your macros vastly inaccurate and the calories vastly inaccurate for when you are making adjustments later on in the opposite direction. So, I mean, throughout the day, you could easily add in an extra 50 grams of protein just from rice as you've added in throughout the off season. That's uh, why my protein is what it is because I just haven't made the reduction yet because appetite's still really good. I get hungry before my meals, so haven't seen a need to, to pull back on protein just yet. So primarily at this point, just making carbohydrate additions uh, from here. So that is my meal for the day where I'm currently at. Some people say, John, I cannot believe you just eat so little food. I've seen that so many times because a lot of times you haven't seen me in the off season pushing body weight up. So this is uh, around the area that, that I will get up to this 4,300, 5,500 mark. Um, so we'll keep this going the off season for a bit longer. Prep is not too far away. So I'll probably do one video at the final end of this off-season push, see where food's at, see where I'm at, and I will talk to y'all next time.